Hello, I'm Helen Seller, your Destiny Helper. Thank you so much for joining me on this beautiful morning. The great metropolis of Seattle is beautiful here. It's nice and cool and crisp. Unfortunately, we're not enjoying the weather that many of you have said you had down south. The, the hot weather, still kind of cool. We've had a few days, but that's our weather and I love it. I'm here because another beautiful question has come but it's tremendous and what it is is what is the difference in this time zone and what it has been and through my many session with people I have noticed that the narcissists with 21st century supply is the same thing that they do. And once they capture the emotions and the heart, because you got to remember that when you're with the narcissist, it's not just an emotional thing. It is also a physical addiction. It's like being on crack cocaine. You get addicted because they know how to release those dopamine and the oxytocin in your body. And, and these dopamine make you feel feel uh, connected, make you feel good. And so these different uh, uh, hormones that releases in the body bring this addiction. But the 21st century supplies a little bit different because when we were in the 20th century and before, we didn't have the knowledge that we have now. And so many people are more uh, intelligent, more knowledgeable, in situation more apprehensive in situation because by the time the narcissists get them they've already been wounded they've already come out of a dysfunction which makes it easier but not it doesn't take away the challenge that they're working in dysfunction and uh, that's why the, the narcissists love empathic people because they feel and they go immediately to help but when you get supply and they get hooked in that supply they become very vocal they become become very uh, challenging uh, because they're very aggressive. They're used to the fight zone and where most narcissists, especially the older narcissists, once they hook, these people become sometimes very passive. But the 21st century people, they've seen so much, experienced so much. I mean, they've seen blood, they've seen death, they've seen uh, disillusionment on scales that have blown their mind. They've been deceived on the job. They've been deceived in churches. They've been deceived in relationship, deceived even by their own parents. You got daughters who got mothers are competing with them for their own boyfriend. You got churches and the churches seem to, uh, many of them have compromised their power, compromised Jesus Christ until you don't even know what you're coming through. And so the narcissist is getting these type people. So once they hook them, it's not a lay down situation. That narcissists work for their fuel. They are working for their fuel because a lot of times we think that it's just easy for the narcissist. That narcissist has to work. He love bombed them. That's why the usual time is three to six months. Come on. Because it takes time to hook that mind and get that mind already out of a registered dysfunction, especially when they have already been captured. Most of them have already been connected with a narcissist before, especially when they was raised up in a narcissistic home. They had a narcissistic father, a narcissistic mother or two parents that was a narcissist and they just fall and left and fall and left and here's this wounded injured child which now draws a narcissist but the narcissist draw that fight out of them and that fight zone and so you got to remember in love bombing when you're love bombing that's the time the narcissist see you as perfect I mean you can have one tooth in the middle if they are love bombing you they are filling the gums with teeth come on here they love you you are perfect and that's what they're craving for because they don't love and they're so empty they can get volumes, deluge of love. And that's why they're pulling all that fuel out of you in the idolization zone. I mean, they're telling you how beautiful you are. There's nobody like you. They're giving you that attention. They're giving you that time, but oh, 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 they recognize there's a fight in this one. 
This one has a fight zone. And then once you get into the fight, the narcissist see you as imperfect. And so his plan has to change because the moment you get into the imperfection zone, the devaluation has to begin. And some of them, what happens when the narcissist hook a supply, but he can't carry on through the love bombing, through the supply. And this narcissist recognized this is a bad supply because I'm not going to be able to pull the fuel because they already in question. They are already apprehensive. They are already in the fight mode. And so the narcissist tries what they can to bring them so they're love bombing and devaluate them at the same time because you got to remember trauma bonding is very powerful. When they trauma bond you, it lasts longer than what they love you because because you can fall out of love, but you can't fall out of trauma. And so that trauma is what attaches. And so immediately they switch from the love bombing and try to get you into the trauma bonding, make you feel responsible, make you feel guilty. If the love bombing don't work, they make you feel guilty. But the 21st century supply got a lot of battle in them. They got a lot of fight in them. And when the narcissists get a fighter, I mean, every time you turn around, they're in the boxing ring. So they have to turn it up. They have to turn up the love bombing. They have to turn up the gifts. And sometimes it does not work. The fight is too much. And they are causing all of this narcissistic injury. What happened to the narcissist? The magical act of disappearing. It's not even ghostly. They are out of their jack. They're not staying. They are gone, gone, gone. And won't be back anymore, anymore, anymore. Because the narcissist cannot stand that kind of injury and you got to remember they try and test that supply and what the narcissist want is long term usage even if they devaluate them and discard it he done hooked them she done hooked them so they can come back because they keep coming back to the old supply they got historical files and they know how to put them and the train has its own GPS to your life coming back again for more torture and torment. So the narcissist, come on now, the narcissist is very challenged with 21st century supply. And a lot of times we give the narcissist credit like they don't have a battle. We give the narcissist credit as if they can come into a person's life and just take over. They don't take over every life. We give them that credit. There are people who've been wounded, but those narcissists have been wounded too. And that's why they're sitting around saying, he hadn't called me. He hadn't hoovered me. Well, will you want to hoover somebody that keeps stabbing you, biting you, kicking you? Come on, he, even the Lord Narcissus probably says, she more violent than I am. Come on here. That 21st century supply that has become numb to society, that has seen too much, been through too much, and their emotions, they are not narcissists, but they got narcissistic traits. And these emotions, it just coming out at them and they are fighter and they are apprehensive anything that look like what they've been through here come the roar the lion is loose and it is untamed where the narcissist no supply they know what they need they know if they don't break you down emotionally break down your will the narcissist gets to your will emotions can change and you are going from one emotions to another can you imagine if you're psychopathic you don't went through things and you don't trust anybody. You don't trust nobody. And you tell the narc, I ain't trusting nobody. And the narcissist try to idolize you, build you, and you keep going back to, I ain't trust nobody. And then you, 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 you take and put them under serious scrutiny. The narcissist soon know this is a bad supply. I need to throw this supply away because this won't work for me. This won't work for me. I got to always be in charge. I got to always manipulate. And this manipulating has to be to my advantage. I don't need nothing that's going to contend with me. There are certain narcissists now, as you grow up the school of narcissists, and as they grow up in a, a rank, as they grow up in skill that may take you on. <clears throat> They'll take on you because once they break you, when you break the strength of a person, the stronger the strength you break, the greater the fuel 
all of that few will belong to the narcissist and he give one up and a tab in his belt because nobody was able to break you. You came out of dysfunctional home and most kids now, a lot of one in five children have been molested. You've been molested. You don't trust anybody. And especially when they have the flavor of the past and you pick them up and they just like something you remember. Ooh, that dog begin to bark. And next thing you know, that poodle become a bulldog and it's going straight for the ankles. Well, the narcissist have to get some fight back and flight because the one thing the narcissist does, they do not want anything they recognize that will not be to their benefit. Why? Because there's too much fuel out there. And then they start, they go and look for another supply. They go and look for a new source. So 21st uh, century supply, of course, much different than 20th century supply. They go through too much. So stop giving credit. And that's why the, the narcissists love trauma bonding. Trauma bonding, even with professional help, is difficult to break because they're bonded to the trauma. And all of those hormones and memory start releasing once they get away from, but they hear the narcissist's voice. They get something that remind them of the narcissist. They smell something that remind them of the narcissist. Walk by a restaurant, see the car, see somebody's shoes, somebody's socks, or a phrase or a song they used to enjoy. All of these things come back in memory. That's why the narcissist spend a lot of time with addiction, your addiction to them. They need you to be emotionally constrained by them at will. And that's why a lot of narcissists would want you to just hear their voice because the Stockholm Syndrome brings you right back. You've been away, and that's why you don't play with fire. Once you have been freed or discarded, discarding you is a moment where you can take advantage and be free. And many of you, the narcissist is not hoovering you. You are hoovering the narcissist. That's when you are addicted. And this is why a lot of 21st century supply fight in the beginning of the relationship. Decisions are made at the beginning of the relationship because the narcissists see you. They understand you. These bad people, I mean, you would think they went to the school of narcissists and got a several PhDs to figure out your emotions, to figure out your weakness, to figure out the open doors, the open gates, the open windows, to figure out the doormat carpeting of every foundation because some of you are carpet. You're laying down on the floor. You're laying down on the foundation. You make sure their feet are not cold because they walk on your life and you are the carpet of their life. They walk on the plush arenas of life. You work for them. You think for them. Everything is for them. You are enslaved in the 21st century, but that's not everybody. Some people are not good supply. We always talk about the supply that is good, but what happened when the narcissists get a bad supply and they fail the test? Too much fight in them, too much possess in them, too much doubt in them, and they are fighting the narc for every other relationship they've been through, every other narcissist they've been through. They have made up in their mind the only thing thing is you must shield your mind because these bad boys are backdoor hackers. They send in Trojans to hack all of your information, to hack all of your past, and they send in confusion the way they talk, the way they challenge you, gaslight you, make you feel horrible, word salad. And I mean, they go on and on and on. Once you allow a narcissist to cause information confusion, you have become vulnerable. Well, a lot of people do not want that vulnerability. They are angry. They are mad. They are 
full of rage. And the one thing the narcissist will not stand is for you to be full of rage because they will not allow themselves to be your target. And we have people walking around with a bow and an arrow Uzi with M16s. Come on here. And they are ready to lock and load the target. They are just as determined as the narcissist to shoot everything that looked like familiar territory, to shoot everything that looked like what they've been through. The narcissist discard them and get out of Zion. Baby, quick and in a hurry. They don't even leave footprints so the dog can track them. That's how fast they leave. So 21st century supply, oh yes, it can be real challenging. Out of all the people that are captured, not all of them are captured, baby. Not all of them that, that narcissists can get. Not all of them the narcissists even want. There are some of them, the narcissists themselves, stamp rejection on this supply. They do not fit the mold because sometimes the person is just like the narcissist. They are masked up until you hit what they've been through, hit what the people have that have used them, hit their inferiority complexes, and they come out fighting because nobody has ever administer healing to them and they are wounded but they are wounded with hate honey it ain't fear it's hate and they fight and some people don't mind going to jail for what they believe and the narcissist know anytime you get a fool that is more fool than me we're gonna put rejection you talking about ultimate abandonment the narcissist said this one is out. This supply is no good. I'm sending it back. I don't want it, don't want to deal with it, and it is out. It is lights out, TV off, radio off, book closed. This is not my supply. So 21st century supply, oh yeah, can be quite challenging. 21st century supply, oh yeah. And some of you, I'm talking to you, because you are a rejected piece by the narcissist. You are. And you wonder what was wrong with you. You are 21st century, and you are filled with anger. But let me tell you, the anger that you're feeling, the fight that you're feeling, get rid of it. Forgiveness is powerful. It's powerful for your life. Get rid of the rage. Get rid of the anger. Keep your strength, but get rid of the anger. Release your life so you can blow that fuel off and you're not fuming from the inside. You won't get weak if you make up in your mind that anything that look like a narcissist feel like a narcissist or feel like anything I've been through, the answer is I'm out of here. No questions asked. 21st century supply can be challenging. Not all nuts get their supply broken. If they don't move the supply, you can't break a knot. But you can cause them to get out of Dodge. And they will. When they realize you will not work for them. I'm Helen Sadler with a quick moment with my fellow champs. Saying it can be quite challenging with 21st century supply. Not all narcissists win. And not all supply break. Have an awesome awesome day. Remember to subscribe to my videos and push the bell so when I make new videos, you will be alert. And if you know people, please share the page and like the page. If you like this video, high five to the 21st century supply.